day number 17 of the lion diet. So today I started off my day with bone broth and collagen and half of a leftover uh, bison ribeye. And then for lunch, more bone broth and collagen. And then for dinner, my husband um, had put some New York strip steaks in the sous vide and he ended up having that with two kielbasa sausages. I really, um, I was just really not feeling the steak. So he made me, so nice of him, he made me some chicken tenders in the sous vide. They turned out amazing. Um, and that is what I had for dinner. And so that was the first time I incorporated the chicken. Um, I said I would do that at two weeks. It's a couple days after two weeks, but um, had that for dinner. So far, so good. It was really delicious and I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, that's day 17. Um, I want to share a quick little Bible verse with you all for some encouragement today. I want to read Psalms 1. Um, I'm going to read verses 1 through 3. And I'm going to read it out of the Amplified Bible. Sometimes I love to go to the Amplified. It's just there's extra wording um, in the scriptures, which is nice. So this says, Blessed, fortunate, prosperous, and favored by God is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, following their advice and example, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit down to rest in the seat of scoffers or ridiculers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, his precepts and teachings, he habitually meditates day and night. And he will be like a tree firmly planted and fed by streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season. Its leaf does not wither. And in whatever he does, he prospers and comes to maturity. These are some of my favorite scriptures. I love, I love Psalms 1. And I just love this because this is like a promise from God. If we will, you know, we put our focus on him and his word. His word is life to us. His word is life to all of our flesh. And when we meditate, that's what it says, um, when we delight in the law of the Lord or the word, the word of the Lord, the word of God, when we delight in it and focus on it and receive his word, then we are like trees firmly planted and fed by streams of water, yielding their fruit in its season, the leaves do not wither or fade, and whatever we do prospers and comes to maturity. It's so beautiful. It's so wonderful what the Lord does for us. And yeah, it's just awesome. I hope that that encourages you. I love to meditate on these scriptures, and I love to just experience the freshness and the life that the Lord gives us. And it happens when we focus on his word. Um, it doesn't mean he's not wanting to give that to us if we're not focused on his word. It's just that's how it works. Like if we're focused on other things and feeding off other things, we're just going to get the results of the other things. It's not the Lord punishing us or withholding from us. It's just that we are choosing to be in line with something else. But when we choose to be in line with God and his word, we get all of his benefits because we're positioned, we've positioned ourselves to receive that, right? To receive what he wants to give us. And so I just think they're powerful verses. And I love the picture of a tree flourishing by a river, just flourishing, producing fruit. And that's what the word does in our lives. And it's awesome. So I hope that that encourages you today. Um, yeah, wrapping up another day and I will talk to you all tomorrow for day number 18. Bye.